and welcome to another episode of my Q&A Thursday. For today's episode, I'm going to answer a question sent in by Chan. He writes, I have been an overseas Filipino worker for 22 years now. I started working abroad when my eldest son was still an infant. My son is now in college taking up mechanical engineering. As a father, I wish my son to have a great future. This is the reason why I'm working hard abroad and enduring the pain of being away from my family most of the time. I only have a limited number of productive years left, so I'm trying to plan ahead. I have savings set aside to help my children start off with what they want to pursue to become independent. I've been following your newsletters and your videos and I thought I'd ask you this question. What do you think is the best strategy for my son if his ultimate goal is to immigrate to Canada? Great question, John. If your son's ultimate goal is to immigrate to Canada, you might want to explore the option of sending your son to study in a Canadian post-secondary institution. After your son finishes his studies, there will be a number of ways for him to apply for permanent residency, and he won't need to leave Canada. So why send him to school in Canada? Why not let him finish his studies in the Philippines first? Here's a few advantages of sending your son to school in Canada. He'll have globally recognized education to add to his resume after he graduates. He can work part-time on campus without having to apply for a work permit. He can also work off campus if he wants. He'll just need to apply for an off-campus work permit. This allows him to work in any occupation and for any employer. He can apply for a post-graduation work permit which allows him to gain valuable Canadian work experience. He'll also be able to use this work experience for his permanent residency application. As I've mentioned already, he'll qualify for numerous permanent residency categories after graduating. With this strategy, you're hitting two birds with one stone. You mentioned that you've been saving to help your children jumpstart their future. Having come from the Philippines myself, I know that part of your savings is for your son's placement or processing fees to be able to go abroad after he graduates. So you're saving for your son's schooling as well as for his post-schooling needs. Sending your son to school in Canada will eliminate your placement fees to send him abroad after graduating. He's already abroad and he's got a great chance of staying in Canada permanently. Isn't that awesome? There you go, John. I presented to you a great strategy for your son. What about you? Make a comment below and tell us how you're preparing your children for their future. What sacrifices are you doing now to secure a great future for them? I hope you found this information helpful. Please help me spread this to all the parents out there trying to help set up their children with a good future. Thank you for watching my Q&A Thursday and I'll see you next week.